Hi, this is Ori with MMH Productions, and I have a question to answer today. It makes me pretty excited. Thank you for sending it. Um, before I get to the question, I want to let you guys know that I'm really happy, and thank you for subscribing. We have 19 whole subscribers today. <laughs> um, 981 more to go. So, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, the question comes from Tori from New Jersey. And Tori says, why do you make films about evil people? Well, um, I don't think that I do. Uh, I look at things maybe a little bit differently. I try to make films that are meaningful, I think films that make you think. I understand the, um, the, cookie, cutty, the cookie cutter format where you've got the character and the character comes up to a challenge and then they meet the challenge and they're on their way to victory but then oh something else happens and they have to overcome that and then at the end they win and then that's great that's feel good um, the problem is that life isn't always feel good and people see films for a lot of different reasons and I think that films that MMH Productions makes the intention is to entertain, but then also the, inter the intention is to make people think. Um, th there's a reason that there are certain criteria that we have. Um, the films have to be cognitive. They have to be controversial. They have to be disturbing. I, I think that that's really important because those things usually get people to talk and that's what we want to do we want people to talk about the films and we want people to talk about the situations that the films are all about so as far as evil people goes did i say that right i think i did as far as evil people go i guess a person goes and people go so as far as evil people go i I guess a strange outlook. I don't believe in evil people. I don't think that anybody is inherently evil. I think people do bad things, of course, but the intentions are usually good from their perspective, I guess. Uh, is that to say that I support everything that everybody does? Well, absolutely not. But do I think that people go out of their way in general to do things that aren't beneficial for anybody. I don't, I don't believe that. And as far as the films that we've made, we've made four. So in Butterfly Short, um, is Gretchen an evil person? Absolutely not. Gretchen is not an evil person. And did she make decisions maybe that you wouldn't? Well, sure, but that's awfully one-sided to think that if somebody makes a decision that you wouldn't make, that that would make you evil. Um, does she make an unpopular decision? Well, absolutely. Does she make a decision that harms somebody else? Absolutely. But is she an evil person? No, because Gretchen is doing what she feels is the right thing to do, and she's doing what she firmly believes based on her life experience. Um, a difference between Butterfly and the other films that we've made is that Butterfly is a true story. So it's it's kind of hard to magic up that sort of thing and, and turn it into something that it's not. And would that impair the message if we took a story and magicked it up so that it would be happy and fuzzy well absolutely because then the the concept the social problem wouldn't be talked about and at the core butterfly is about um, revenge accusations and so we need to talk about that that's something that's happening and has been happening for years it's not a gender issue it's not anything like that it, but what it is is a relevant social issue that we need to talk about. Does that mean that the person making those allegations or accusations are evil? Well, no, it doesn't mean that because it's coming from a place of firm belief. 
and somebody's truth from their perspective is an evil. Um, unpopular, maladaptive, sure. When we look at opportunity cost, does the bad guy win? Yes, the bad guy wins. But is the bad guy being a bad guy just to be a bad guy? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He's exhausted all of his resources. And so Eric has a certain goal that he's trying to meet. And, and I don't know that the idea that he has is intended to have the consequences that it does, but it does. And that stuff happens and we need to talk about it. The, the kind of things that we remember in life are not the things that we expect. It's not when everything goes exactly the way that we planned for it to. We tend to remember the things that don't go at all as we planned or didn't go exactly as we planned. So then we have to look at it and evaluate it and talk about it and really rationalize it and look for what happened so I can fix that. And so opportunity cost, there's not an evil guy in that either. Finding Jesus, <laughs> there's not an evil guy in that one. Some people may think that we're the evil guys, but because we take a religious icon and put a different spin on what somebody would assume that icon would behave like. And we could definitely be accused of not being respectful, but that's really not the intention either. But I can see how that could be a conclusion that somebody comes to, say that you guys are not respectful at all to this idea. But remember that finding Jesus is 100% satire. It's not intended to be anybody's true view of how this situation might occur should it have happened in real life. But, um, but there's no evil people in that either. Now, the last one, uh, which is one shot, which isn't even made yet, but that's about a guy who is married to a very controlling spouse. And the spouse is kind of mean, for real. Um, but does that mean that she's evil? No, Allie is not evil. Allie's doing the best that she knows how to do, given the information that she has and the experience that she's had in life and how she views relationships. And that has never been challenged. She's had no reason to look at that any differently. So she's not an evil person at all. So from my perspective, I've never written or produced or been involved with a film that glorifies or puts a spotlight on evil people. I think that the films that we make put a spotlight on unfortunate situations and sometimes people overcome them and sometimes they don't. But many times when people don't overcome something, that becomes a catalyst for change. And social change is awesome. So if a film can be a small part to facilitate discussion or facilitate a recognition that social change is necessary, well, then I'm all for that and there's no evil in that. So I appreciate the question, Tori, and hopefully I gave you a good answer. But no evil people from my perspective. I'd like to hear yours. Have a good one.